So what does that mean, this divestment of, of, of Tencent? Any bearing on the company, C, and what they plan to do there moving forward? Yeah, so uh, we think this divestment actually has nothing to do with C Limited's uh, future growth prospects because C businesses are still pretty much su supported by growth in new business such as fintech and also growth in new geographies such as in Latin America and in Europe. For Tencent, it probably doesn't mean much as well because, you know, uh, from time to time, monetizing some of Tencent's deep investment portfolio is a good way to make the market better reflect this, uh, the full value of these assets. Okay. Uh, we know that there may, there may be some regulatory pressure behind the JD.com sale earlier. And given that c -Limiter is based in domicile in Southeast Asia, you know, the sale of c -Limiter is probably purely financially motivated. What do you think are the factors that are driving C's valuation trend then in the next few months or so? Yeah, that's a good, great question. Given that C Limited's you know share actually lost uh, more than forty percent of its value in the last two months, so C Limited's valuation is affected, I, I think, to the uh, for, um, to the large extent by investors' concern over its future profit profitability. Its profitability, so it has three businesses, gaming, e-commerce, and fintech. You know, gaming is still the only uh, profit-generating segments. E-commerce and fintech remain drags. And that's, that seems that makes a lot of sense for us because C is using money from gaming and other sources to fund expansion, as I mentioned, in fintech and also in new geographies. You know, um, other factors like rising competition from uh, you know, uh, rivals going to market either through IPO or the spec routes like Grab and GoTo Group and many more digital platforms to come and also um, you know uh, concerns over um, this pro this this um, uh, the two factors would actually impact C's profitability profitability in the future so these are the factors with that we think will impact C's future valuations well and also do they wait does Tencent wait to see if all these things bear fruit or do they continue to sell more of their stake I mean, do they wait for the fruits to, be, uh, to come out? That's a great question. So we know that C actually is trying to expand into India, and India has had you know, border conflicts with China. And India actually, based on our sources and, and our reading, uh, might implement a 10% beneficial ownership uh, cap on foreign direct, direct investments or FDIs uh, from countries including China. So bringing ownership by Tencent, which is a Chinese company, down to below 10%, it's going to help seize expansion, ex expansion strategy in India.